Thank you, Madam Contest Chair, ladies and gentlemen. The title of my speech is called The Hidden Treasure. We had a song I remember singing when I was a little boy. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island. We also sing America the Beautiful, Purple Mountain's Majesty. The land we have been given by God is a wonderful, magnificent, glorious land. I say that because I've had the privilege and honor of traveling by car to many parts of this country. You can go from place to place. You can see the things that are so magnificently different. California, from Phoenix to California, you can drive and see the big, huge sand dunes in California and marvel. Wow, the majesty and beauty of that. You can go to northeast Wyoming and see the Devil's Tower and think, how did that thing get there? Look at that thing. That is just awesome. You can go to the beauty of Pennsylvania up in the Pocono Mountains and partake in seeing the beauty and splendor of the color of all the different leaves of the trees and marvel and say, oh, that is just awesome. One of the things that really astounded me the most in this country, and I don't think you could see it anywhere else in the world. It must have been somewhere else, Montana, I think it was. I'm driving along the road, and I stop, I pull out of the car, and look. And 360 degrees all around me was nothing but cornfields, as far as the eye can see. I stopped and looked, got out of my car, like I said, and looked and said, Wow, this is absolutely unprecedented. I don't think I've seen anything like this in my life. It's all inspiring to know what our country is made of. The song says, this land was made for you and me. God has given us a gift. The gift of a glorious and wonderful land. I like to inspire you, and I'll tell you near my end of the speech, of what I want to inspire you to try to do in your lifetime. That is to see the majesty of not only where you live, but partake in the beauty of going here. We live in South Florida, of experience the Everglades. Do you know many people, for instance, I found out you go to New York City, many people have never been to the Statue of Liberty who live there, but they don't take the time to say, I'm going to appreciate something that so many people from far away come to appreciate and acknowledge. But I'm going to share something with you that is very special. We may marvel at going to the Grand Canyon and looking at the majesty of the Grand Canyon and say, look at that. Oh. But I marvel in the little things that are splendors, for instance. I'm driving along the highway in Illinois, and I cross the bridge to go to St. Louis. And what is below the bridge? The mighty Mississippi River. The power of the river that is known in this country as the most glorious river we have. We have the Ohio, the Missouri, the Colorado, but the Mississippi stands far and far beyond any other river. But Little did I know that I was going to have a chance to counter from where that river was born, where it starts. Picture yourself in northwestern Minnesota, about an hour, hour and a half from Fargo, North Dakota, in a park called Ithaca State Park. And you will go to that park, and you will walk down this path into the woods, and there, picture in your mind, Standing to the left of your vision is a lake. And coming over this lake is a little watershed, like a little waterfall, only about 10 feet wide. And this little stream will come along going in front of you. You are standing on the banks of the beginning birthplace of the Mississippi River. I stood there and looked up and said, Oh God, 
this is awesome to behold. To partake in this moment. And I was there at the right time of year, folks. I was there in October where you didn't have the crowds and the tourists and everything. But something came upon my mind and I said, you know what? I went along the bank and I gathered little stones. You know what I did with some of these stones? I gave them to my friends as gifts. I said, these are rocks from the very beginning of the Mississippi River. And my friends were in awe. They said, you couldn't give me a better gift from a gift shop, but you gave me something that is part of our land, part of our history, the mighty Mississippi. I had two pockets full of rocks in my <laughs> But it was worth it. I did it where I make sure nobody else was watching. I want to inspire you one day to take a trip in this land and find your hidden treasure. Find your place where you find the little rock, the little thing that is special. Find that place where it, to you it could be the Grand Canyon, all of the majesty, or for me, the quiet, subtle, peaceful place of the beginning of the mightiest river in America. Ladies and gentlemen, to your hidden treasure, go find it.